Using Roman numerals in music is a widely used way of identifying chords and their sound qualities. The system enables us to visually represent all of the different chords in a key. It's also useful as they enable us to take a sequence of chords, also known as a chord progression, and then easily transfer that same progression into another key. This can help when analyzing other songs. It means you can work out a progression and then morph that same progression into any key that you'd like. Let's look at the scale of C major. It uses just the white notes in between two Cs. Let's then give each of these keys a number. Let's make a chord built on the first note, letter C. We'll call this chord one. Using the notes of the C major scale, just the white notes, they form a major chord. In Roman numerals, this chord would be shown with an uppercase one. If we go to the second note of the scale, we come to letter D. This is chord two, and again, just using the notes in the C major scale, they form a minor chord. Because it's minor, this chord two would be shown using lowercase. If we keep going up the scale, we next come to E. Starting on E and just using the white notes gives us an E minor chord, chord three. Next we get F major, chord four, followed by G major, chord five. The next letter up, letter A, would give us A minor for chord six. The seventh and final note in our scale, before arriving back at C, is the note of B. If we form a chord starting on B, using just the white notes, then we get something a little different, a diminished chord. This is the odd one out compared to all the other chords. It's neither a major or minor chord and sounds a little different. Diminished chords don't appear very frequently in music, so don't worry too much about this one for now. If we now look at all these chords in a major scale, we can easily see which chords are major, the uppercase, and which chords are minor, lowercase, with our diminished, shown by the small circle on the end here. So let's see how the Roman numeral system can be used in practice. Still using the key of C major, I'm going to use a standard chord progression of one, four, six, and five. That is the chords of C major, F major, a minor, and then G major. Now, instead of the key of C major, let's change to the key of E major. Remember we need to use the notes of the E major scale in order to number the chords correctly. The scale of E major has E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, and D sharp. So taking the chord progression we had before, Let's play chord one, this would be E major. Then chord four, A major. Chord six, C sharp minor. And then chord five, B major. A chord progression cannot be copyrighted, so it's okay to borrow a chord sequence from an existing piece or song and use it in your own music. The Roman numeral system will help you to work out the chord progression, and then you can easily convert that into whichever key you would like. Thank you.